The trading strategy I'm about to show you in this video has one of the highest win ratios on my channel. It is very easy to use, it works extremely well on the Euro US dollar pair and most importantly it makes money. Ok enough talk, let's get straight into it. So the strategy is based on the stochastic RSI. I'm sure you're familiar with this indicator, if not don't worry I will explain everything you need to know about it in a second. So in order to add it to your chart simply head over to the indicators and type stochastic. You'll find it under technicals. The stochastic Relative Strength Index is a technical analysis indicator that helps identify overbought and oversold conditions in a market. It combines the concepts of the Stochastic Oscillator and the Relative Strength Index to provide more sensitive and accurate trading signals. When the Stochastic RSI reaches or goes above the upper threshold, which is typically 80, the security is considered overbought, indicating a potential sell signal or opportunity to short the asset. When the Stochastic RSI reaches or goes below 20, the security is viewed as over sold, indicating a buy signal or the potential to go long on the asset. The indicator consists of two lines, K and D. A buy signal occurs when the K line crosses above the D line. Exactly the opposite is true for a sell signal. By no means we should take every single cross for a buy or a sell signal. This will no doubt result in a lot of false entries and massive losses. However, we can adjust the indicator settings and set specific rules to maximize signal accuracy. One way to increase the accuracy of the signal signals is to change the indicator's inputs. I will set both the RSI and stochastic lengths to 10. This change will affect the indicator's lag. Also, we need to formulate specific rules about when to buy and sell. I believe that in most cases, the best way to use stochastic RSI is by combining buy and sell signals with overbought and oversold conditions. For example, a sell signal would be valid only if a bearish cross occurs in the overbought area which is above 80. Conversely, a buy signal is confirmed if the bullish cross happens in the oversold zone. This way we'll have more high quality trade entries. However, there are still two more trading view tools we need to add to complete the setup. So open the indicators menu and search for signal moving average by Lux Algo. The settings will remain by default. For the next tool, add heat map volume. This indicator helps visualize the trading volume in different colors based on thresholds. There are five volume thresholds, low, normal, medium, high and extra high. The only two we care about are medium and high. I found that trading during extra high or low market volume causes unpredictable price movements. As traders, our goal is to control everything as much as possible to stay safe. So to confirm the signals given by the stochastic RSI, the volume must be either medium or high. Before we start using this indicator, we need to make a minor change in the input section. Simply change the MA length from 610 to 800. Alright, now once we have all the indicators ready, let's move on to the exact rules for entering long and short trades. Let's start with a sell entry. So to open a short trade, the stochastic RSI must first get overbought. Once it gets above 80, we wait for a bearish cross. As we can see, the K line just crossed below the D line. The next step is to confirm the signals with the rest of the indicator. First of all, we check the position of the price against the moving average. You see, when the price gets far away from the moving average, it often signals overbought or oversold market condition. That's why we will go short when the price is closed above the moving average. In addition to these rules, the volume must either be medium or high. If these conditions are met, we place a sell order at the close of the price bar. And now we need to determine where to place a stop loss. In my opinion, the best way to do that is to use the ATR. For example, the current ATR value is 12 pips. Our stop loss will be placed at the distance of two values of the ATR from the entry price. In our case, it is 24 pips away. The profit target will be set at the distance of four ATR values from the entry price. If you have a sell position opened and your strategy gives you a valid long entry, you should close the position and enter a long trade. Ok, now let's understand the rules for a long trade. First, the stochastic RSI must get oversold. During the oversold condition, the blue line must cross above the orange line. Remember, the cross must happen below the 20 level. The next condition is to have the price closed below the signal moving average. The further the price is from the MA, the better. Finally, check the state of the market volume. In this example, the volume is high. Open a long trade at the close of the price bar. Just like with short trades, set the stop loss at the distance of 
of two values of the ATR. The current value is roughly 0 0.0015, so the stop loss will be set at a distance of 30 pips. Target two times the risk. Alright traders, I hope you understand the strategy. So, what are the real numbers behind it you might ask, like the win ratio and profit and loss? In order to find all the important metrics behind the strategy, we can either do the manual backtesting, or we can code the strategy in a Pine editor and use the strategy tester. Since I'm not very good at coding, I had to ask ChatGPT to do all the work for me. I took the script, made some adjustments and published it to my TradingView account. I called it Stochastic RSI Algo for Forex and yes, the script is private. I will leave a link to it in the comments down below, all you need to do is to add it to your favourites. Once you've added it to the chart, open the settings and change this number from 1 to 10. You can also set the initial capital and the order size. The inputs are also customizable. You can change the moving average length, the K and D lengths, the RSI and the stochastic lengths, and you can adjust the volume thresholds as well. Now let's open the strategy tester and see how well it works on the Euro US dollar on the daily chart. So after a total of 118 trades, the strategy made 286% profit on our account. By the way, the trades were found within one year. The win ratio is 78.81%, which is really, really high. The profit factor is 4.5 and the maximal drawdown is 13.23%. Overall, quite impressive performance on a daily chart. On the 15 minutes chart, the strategy also works really well. Out of 76 trades, the win ratio turned out to be 75%. By the way, these are the only time frames I recommend to use the strategy on. All right, now let's take a look at the strategy's performance on a pound dollar on a daily chart. Overall, the results are decent. However, the maximal drawdown is not ideal. The next pair we're gonna test this strategy on is the Aussie US dollar. So the win ratio is nearly 70% and the net profit is also quite impressive. On dollars we see the results are also very positive. You can see the entries are quite accurate, especially in a range market. Definitely give it a try and also let us know if you find any good settings. By the way, there are some numbers in the code that you can change that will affect the strategy's sensitivity. For example, you can change the stochastic RSI lower line from 20 to 10 and the upper line from 80 to 90. This way, the strategy will give less signals, but those signals will probably be higher quality. All right, traders, thanks for watching this video till the end. Smash the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe to TradeIQ. By the way, if you want to see more strategies for Forex, check out this playlist right here.